Jesus. We exalt you, O God. There is no one like you. You are high and lifted up. You are one true living God. You are our creator. You are our sustainer. You are the life giver. You are our strength. You are our peace. You are our strength, oh God. You are our strong tower. The righteous can run into and be safe. We thank you, oh God, that there is no one like you. There was no one before you. There will be no one after you. So we bring our minds in on today. We bring our bodies in on today. We bring our thoughts in on today. Oh God, we bring our whole being in in humility unto to you. We surrender to you again. Oh, we surrender to you, oh Jesus. And we ask that you will wash us. That you will wash us and cleanse us. That you will wash us, cleanse us, and purge us of everything that's not like you. Every look that we had that wasn't like you. Every step that we made that wasn't like you. Every thought that we had that wasn't like you. We surrender it to you today. Wash us, Jesus. Wash us, Jesus. Wash us in your blood. Wash us in your cleaning blood. Wash us in your sanctifying blood. Wash us even the more. Wash our voices. Wash our hands. Wash our eyes. Wash our ears, oh Lord, that everything we do unto you will be pleasing in your sight, that even this prayer will be pleasing unto your ears. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can come unto you, that we can cry out to you. We thank you, oh Lord, that according to Psalm 50 and 15, that when we can call out in the day of trouble, and you, oh God, will deliver us. We thank you that we can call upon you and you will answer us. You will show us great and mighty things that we don't even know about. Oh, we thank you, oh God, that your word says in Psalms 34 and 17 that the righteous will cry out and Lord, you will hear. You have God ears that you can hear. You are our living God and you will hear us. Not only will you hear us, but you will deliver us out of all of our troubles. So we cry out to you today, Jesus. We cry out to you, oh God. We cry out to you, Lord. We cry out, God. We cry out. We cry out, oh God, for you to deliver us. Deliver us even from ourselves. Deliver us from our own thoughts. Deliver us from our own desires. Deliver us from our own lust. That we don't take our own out and as we cry out oh God we ask that you deliver us from the cares of this world we ask that you deliver us from the issues of life deliver us in our mind that we won't be consumed but that we can run into you we can run into your safe place we can run into the sacristy we can run into your name and we'll be saved so we thank you oh God that as we cry out you are delivering us you will keep back our enemies you will cover us with your blood you are shield us on every side. Oh, we thank you, oh Lord, that as we cry out for help, oh, you will deliver us in the midst of distress. As we cry out for help, you will give us water. You will give us a quench of our thirst, oh God, from the living water that never runs dry. As we cry out for hunger, Lord, you are the bread of life, Jesus, that we can eat upon you and hunger no more. We cry out with a loud sound. Savior, save us some more. Deliver us, deliver us some more. Keep us, keep us some more. Deliver us, Jesus. Deliver us, deliver us. Sanctify us, sanctify us. Keep us, keep us, keep us. Lord, we cry out to you, Jesus. We cry out in humility. We cry out that you will wash us even the more. Wash even our children and our children's children. Wash our blood lives, Jesus, that we will live a life that is pleasable and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. We cry out in unconditional surrender. We surrender to you again, Jesus. We surrender unto you, Jesus. Created us a 
need, heart, and renew a right spirit within us that we will serve you better, that we will worship you in spirit and in truth, that we will love on you and your people. We will have a spirit of love because we have taken on your spirit, Lord Jesus. We cry out for mercy, mercy on us, mercy on our families, mercy on our city, mercy on our nation, mercy on this world. Cry out for mercy, oh God, because you are the only one who can deliver us. Everybody, see According to Lamentations 3 and 22, oh Lord, it is your mercy. It is because of your mercy that we are not consumed. Because your compassions fail them not. They are new every morning. So we give you a right now praise as we cry out in humility and thank you for the new mercy and the grace that we have this morning. We cry out to you, oh God, because Jesus, you said without you, we can do nothing. But oh God, we are helping. We are helpless without you. You are our breath. You are our strength. You are our voice. You are our strong. You are our step, oh God. We are desperate for you so that we don't perish. We cry out to you, God, that you will save us. It is your power. It is your strength and your resource that we have all that we need. So we thank you, oh God, that as Elijah cried out, God, you revived a dead child. So we cry out, oh God, that you will rebirth every dead thing that is supposed to be alive in you, oh God. And Jehoshaphat cried out, God, you delivered him from death. Oh God, you are the God of the impossible. You heal, you restore, you save, and you revive. That's Hezekiah cried out, God, you gave him victory. So we cry out for the victory. We cry out for the victory over everything that tried to weigh us down. We cry out for the victory over sin, death, hell, and the grave. Because Jesus, you won it. You won it all for us. Jesus, as your disciples cried out to you, you called the sea, oh God. So we cry out that you have called every troubling thing in our lives, every troubling thing in our minds, every troubling thing even in the natural or the sea or in the air, God. We've already sent our prayer out against every storm, natural or spiritual. We thank you, oh God, that you even answered it within a week, God. You kept back fire from your house, oh God, so we trust you. And we cry out, God, that even as Bartimaeus cried out to you, Jesus, you restored his sight. So we've declared that this is the year of the new. You are giving us new sight, new vision. We will see you better. We will hear you better. Oh, we will see when it's not you, and we will see when it is you. We will stay on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. So we stand in your presence. Thank you, you oh God, for the newness that you are giving it to us because we have cried out to you. Cry out. Lift up your voices. Cry out to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, in your name we are saved. Jesus, Jesus, demons tremble and they flee. Jesus, Jesus, when you are exalted, you will draw all men unto you. So we exalt your name on today. We exalt your name on today. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, to come in and have your way. Come in and move through every server. Come on and move through our prayers. Come on and move through the praise and worship. Come on and move through the singer and the musician. Come on and move, oh God. Move, God. Let us set an atmosphere that you can come in and fill the temple. Come in and fill the temple. We are expecting you, oh God. We received the invitation, but we were glad when they said that to us. Let us go into the house of the Lord. So we come in with thanksgiving. We come in with praise. We come in with our hands raised. We come in with our voices lifted. You be seen. You be heard. Everybody see our eyes are fixed upon you. Our minds are captivated by you. Our hearts are open to you, oh God. Our hands are lifted towards you. Our keeper, our redeemer, our sustainer, our healer. We come for you. Oh God, clean our hearts. Prepare our hearts even for your word on today. Do the word carrier. Our 
so call the Lord. Use the light never before. Stand up in the oh God. Help her to preach your unadulterated word. Oh God, give a boldness in the spirit. Everybody see out of the Bible. To set the act, to set order in your church. To set order in our hearts. Let your word go forth. Let it be alive and quick and active, oh God. Clear up her sinuses, oh God, that she'll even speak. Your word clearly. Give us strength, oh God. Let your power be even in their steps. Everybody see out of the basso. Oh, the abasi. And let our minds be transformed by your word on today. We are looking for you, Jesus. Our there finisher of our faith. Our eyes are fixed upon you as we cry out to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice in Zion with the voice of triumph. And the King of glory shall come in. Oh, Jesus, come in. Jesus, come in our hearts. Jesus, come in our church. Jesus, come in our homes. Jesus, come in our families. Jesus, come on our jobs. Everybody, see out of the Come on and lift them. Continue your praise as we go into praise and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that you have made.
just thank the Lord for this wonderful day that he has made. Good morning. On behalf of Apostle Van Marie Green, Elder Givens, and our ELCC family, we'd like to let you know how much we appreciate you for being with us this morning as we exalt and worship the Lord. What an amazing day. What a fantastic opportunity for us all to come together to share in fellowship and praise. We are going to enjoy a time of showing appreciation. It's going to be good. If this is your first time at Everlasting Life Christian Church, online, or a returning visitor, once again, we are so excited that you are with us today. You are welcome. The occasion. Hebrews 6 and 10, the NIV version says, God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Today, we are here to show appreciation to Everlasting Life Christian Church Executive Pastor, Elder April Teresa Givens. <laughs> is worthy of our theme, a servant that goes above and beyond. A young lady who is a servant that goes above and beyond daily for the kingdom of God. Elder Gibbons' character exemplifies the gift of love, giving up her time and service to a level that puts a smile on your face. She so eloquently keeps our ministry running smoothly. We know your dedication, and we see your passion for our ministry. You make it where we don't see the rough times. You make the rough times look so easy, and we know it's because of the anointing upon your life. When I think of Elder April, I think of a fresh look, a renewed spirit, and an aroma of fragrances. You can smell the fragrance. You can see the blossoming beauty of her handiwork when you walk into the building. And you can feel the anointing of God. To me, that's above and beyond. When you walk in the doors of Everlasting Life Christian Church, take a minute. Let's look around. Inhale. You know right then that Elder April has gone above and beyond. You can smell the fragrance. Elder Givens is not just a hero, but a doer. A lot of things that exist at ELCC is because of her hands and feet that she put to the plow. She works in excellence, and because of it, we have weekly bulletins, productive communication, and an awesome website. Now, don't let that sweet voice fool you. She is a strong woman of God, full of strength and a great leader. She is a force to be reckoned with under pressure. Not only does she care about you and the administrative parts of the ministry, but she tenderly cares about the things of God. It is God that gives us the will and the unction to do. However, it is up to us to do it in excellence. Elder April Teresa Givens, we don't take it for granted because we see your labor and we definitely feel your love. 
Family of ELCC, stand to your feet. We, the family of ELCC, take this time to say and repeat after me, we appreciate and love you. We appreciate and love you. Thank you. <laughs> if you would like to be a blessing at this time, we have some special envelopes and cash app cards prepared just to bless her. If you did not bring cash or a check, you can bless her by cash app. If you need an envelope or a cash app card, please raise your hand and someone will give one to you. If you are using cash app, Elder's cash app is dollar sign April Givens. That's April like the month of April <laughs> and Givens as in G I V E N S. Thanks once again, Elder April Givens. You are appreciated. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And it is a great day to rejoice. Thank you. It's a great day for a celebration. Hallelujah. We love you. We appreciate you. Our executive pastor, Elder April Gibbons. Hallelujah. We are so excited. ELCC. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are so glad to be here all together as a family to honor Elder April. So our theme, as you may have caught with Dr. West with her beautiful words today, was a servant that goes above and beyond. So I looked up the definition for above and beyond. Hallelujah. It says, it is used to describe actions that exceed what is required or expected, especially those done to help or serve someone else. So when I read this definition, I immediately thought of my sister, Elder April. She does so much and she goes above and beyond like you've heard today, but we really want you to know that's really what we believe, that you go above and beyond for ELCC and for the kingdom of God. Um, I'd like to give God all glory and honor and thank Apostle for allowing me to speak this morning. Um, we want you to know that we see you. We see all your hard work. We see all of your flyers. We see all of your emails, your reminders. It does not go unnoticed. We know that sometimes when we are sleeping, you are still up. And we're going to work on that. Hallelujah. Uh, you are still up working, not just for the church, but for the kingdom of God. You have truly um, excelled the church in the media, in the social media. People come to our church because of what you do per Holy Spirit gives you the ideas. And we just thank you for always allowing Holy Spirit to um, guide you and to lead you because you are needed here. You are wanted here. And we know that you that you love ELCC, and I want you to know that ELCC, we know we say ELCC is a family, but we want you to know that you are really our family. Like you have so many sisters, so many brothers who will go for you, go be behind your back, girl, we got you, hallelujah. And we want you to know that we see you and that um, just nothing you do goes unnoticed. And thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we just going to keep it going with Sister Elisha. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I give um, glory to God. Thank you, Apostle, for allowing me this opportunity. Of course, you know I had to get up here and speak about you, of course for making me feel so welcome, so, so welcome when I came. You took me in and just 
made me feel so welcome. Had another sister, you, apart from my mother, and you, just another sister. So I'm greatly, greatly appreciate that. Of course, I had to put that up here. Um, the theme, a servant that goes above and beyond. Um, the word servant kept sticking out to me. So for a servant, of course, you got to have a heart to serve. If you don't have a heart to serve, what's the use of doing it? So um, a few things that stuck out to me is like, how do you know if you have a heart to serve? So we often serve for the wrong reasons. Some people serve it for the adoration and the praise, some for the money. Some just do it, serve just to have something to do. But when we look at people like you, Elder, you serve it out of the goodness of your heart. You serve just to serve for the goodness of the kingdom. You serve because of the goodness of your heart. You have it for the greater the greater goodness. We know you um, vice president of the Garden City Faith Leaders. I mean, just the, everything you've done. I mean, they've already spoken about it, but the goodness of your heart, it shows. When you walk in, you feel the love in the building, just to feel the love about you. A lot of people don't know, but outside the text you send, just say, hey, I haven't seen your face in a while. Hey, just, just thinking of you, that really means a lot, you know. I just want you to know that's that really it means a lot people don't realize that but those texts that you send that that encouragement it helps a lot to a lot of people on some of those days when we're feeling down and the encouragement it goes a long way okay so i found a poem and it I, when i read it it really stuck out to me so I, I thought of you so i'm gonna read it it says i strive to have the heart of a servant that will heed my father's call to do the things he asks of me, be it big or be it small. It doesn't matter what it is. If he asks, I will respond. With cheerfulness, I do the task, giving of myself above and beyond. You see, my father knows what's best for me. He will never lead me wrong. So I can put my total trust in him. For him, my life belongs. I find joy when serving and doing his will. It gives me peace and comforts me. No matter what things may look like, feel or appear, with him, I have nothing to fear. So I'll put him first in all I do, serving him with my whole heart. When I think of all he's done for me, it's easy to serve him with the heart of a servant. We see you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. All right. This is a happy moment. This is a happy morning. Um, I just want to thank Apostle, I thank God first, and I thank Apostle, and I thank my wife. Um, I don't want to make this a, a sad speech or anything, but this is a happy moment. Um, for the most part, everybody knows I work swing shift, and, and for, for those who don't know exactly what it is, is I, sh I, I work a different shift every three to four days. I work 12 hours, if not more. Um, on them days where I come home in the evening, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, I tell her, but hey, I'm going to bed because I got to be up 5 in the morning. I got a busy day tomorrow. And so uh, I say, what you doing? Well, what you working on? I'm doing something for the church. Okay, so I take my shower and um, I go get in the bed. And, and so 5 o'clock in the morning come, I wake up. I see the light on in the room. And, and I walk in. What you doing? What you, why you still up? Oh, I'm doing something for the church. I got to finish it up. So did you ever go to sleep? No. And here it is. It's Sunday morning. So that means she got to come to Sunday service. So that means she stayed up all day, all night, and she up all day again, making sure everything for the Sunday service is uh, ready to go. Um, I don't stop it because I know she's doing it for the Lord and she loves doing it for the Lord. Um, she, she, she loves what she's doing. If you ask her to, hey, can you do this for me? Or can you make sure everything is good? April will make everyone look like a hundred dollars, if not more. <laughs> like, like a crisp hundred dollar bill. She will go above and beyond to make all of us look good. And especially for the kingdom of the Lord. Um, I thank her for that. I, I thank her for being an a awesome wife at home and a mother to our kids. <laughs> Um, thank you. Um, she she made sure that the kids is in order, and she made sure our house is in order, and she made sure this house is in order. Um, I thank Apostle for this. 
just all her love that she's given into April and, and what she has done. We all see it. We, we all see it. Thank you, Apostle, for all that. Um, I thank I thank the late Elder Isaiah Green for 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 raising a woman who doesn't have to lean on a man, and I I mean that in a good way. Um, April, she, she makes my life a little easy, and um, I thank her for that. Places where I'm weak at. <laughs> the places where I'm weak at, she's strong at, so she made me look good. And I thank her for that. She showed me so much and in, in, in introduced me to so much that I never known about myself and 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 exposed me to a a better life and knowing God and loving Jesus and just being a good man of God. She tells me every day I'm a man of God and go to work and show the man you're a man of God. And I thank you for that. Um, but I, and I said I wasn't going to make this a, a sad moment, but uh, well, yeah, once again, you know, I, I, I could. Thank you, Father. I, I can tell you now, you know, you could be laying in the bed watching TV and say, oh, I got to do something for the church real quick. And it's 12 o'clock at night. And, and she's, oh, I got to send this email. And so we laying in the bed. And next thing I know, I look over, she like this. <laughs> and I look over, and she... And, and sometimes, sometimes I, I leave it right there so she could wake up and realize what's going on. But I just, I just want to let y'all know that she really loves what she's doing it, and, and and she's doing it out of the goodness of her heart. And um, and I thank all of you for being a blessing to her. I thank you all for loving her, trusting her, respecting her, and being patient with her. And um, I, I, I thank you because, you know, without her and, and without you, we all would just be walking around lost. And so I, I thank you, and I thank you for uh, God's spirit that's moving every Sunday moment. Any, any, anytime we have a service in this house that the Lord moves through Apostle in April and make sure that everything is in its right place. And, and um, thank you. Come on and give God glory and praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When a man loves God, ain't that something? Hallelujah. I think he was about to make us all cry. Let us all stand while they bring out, amen, coming to America. <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. Coming to April. Come on, everybody. Let's tell the Lord thank you. It's her time. Hallelujah. You may want to move it over a, a little bit um, so the camera, because the balloons have blocked the camera. Hallelujah. We didn't think about that. Glory to God. That's good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is so good. You may take your seat. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we bring forth the word for today, we wanted to... Um, go ahead and just bless Elder, our wonderful Elder. Amen. We do know we have some members that, amen, before we planned this, they had graduations and they are out of town. Praise God. 
and plan, pre-plan vacations. However, I believe they are still going to honor her, hallelujah, with their giving through Cash App, et cetera, because that is who we are. We are a loving, giving church. As the board and I came together in agreement that it was time to celebrate you, Amen. Not past due, but it was time to celebrate you. And so we decided, first of all, what amount we were going to give you on behalf of the church. And you know we have that right here for you. That's a secret between them and us and you. Amen. And then we have, hallelujah, something else now that you are overdue for, and that is a two-day sabbatical <laughs> on Jackal Island with you and your husband. Hallelujah. I say for her and her husband. She can't go to Jackal Island by herself. Amen. Glory to God. And they are rest together. So on behalf of the board and I, amen, on behalf of our church, we are sending y'all to Jackal Island for a two-day sabbatical. Of course, yours truly will keep the children. Hallelujah. And it's upon your husband's schedule. And um, if that's a Tuesday, Wednesday, you're off. And um, you won't take the laptop. Make sure of that. She won't take the laptop and keep her off the phone. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we wanted to do that for you because you are past due for it. And, um, and I will be continually talking to her on how much time to put in, even when you're home, giving you the wisdom on that. I can't hardly teach it as much as I want to because I too have done that just going on and on and on but thank God God have blessed you with such a wonderful man of God I love the way you keep calling him a man of God that's right and so and how to honor him and always you do that but how to give him that undivided attention. And then all of the gifts are from you. You, the leaders of Everlasting Life Christian Church, that she communicates with all the time on your ministry. And you know who you are. All the gifts are from the executive team, those that she worked so closely with. And, of course, I didn't need all, I think, 11 of them or 12. I just chose about five. And that's Sister Alicia, Dr. West, Sister Precious, Sister Zandria, and Sister Ariel. So they put together everything so beautifully. As you can see, everybody had a hand in it. But when I saw the orange roses, I said nobody but Dr. West could have found orange roses. So on behalf of the entire church elder, once again, a servant that goes above and beyond, and truly that is you. Even though you are my daughter, I have seen how you've grown in the Lord and in the Lord's church. I am humbled and honored to have the chance, the opportunity to invest in you as well as my son, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, and God's great people. I tried not to lie. But I'm so glad today is here. <laughs> At one point, I was about to tell about the whole Carrie Hilliard's meeting, and she was looking at me like, 
And I said, girl, you know, I had that mouth surgery. I think them drugs still in my system, girl. And I'm going, it was a time. It was a time. Yesterday, I said, it was a man out there in the parking lot, but Sister Pam, Dr. West, and I'm wait. And I say, I said, well, anyway, we ain't going to talk about that. We're going to go. Anyway, I'm so glad the day has come, and now I know what you saying. You told everybody. I can't be lying for y'all now. I can't be lying. But it was a time. It was a time. I pray that you are very happy this morning. And so we want to give you this on behalf of the board. <laughs> Money, 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 money. <laughs> and your special pillow between Sister Precious and Dr. West. Amen. Balloons. Amen. Basket. It's from all of us. Okay. All right. Glory to God. We already know Lavelle waiting for that basket. We already know. Glory to God. Brother Lavelle and Brother... Um, Amari, y'all come down here first and hug your mama. Come on down. <laughs> and stand up here by Oh, yeah. So, amen. Sister Alicia can get a good picture. Maybe she might can come on up here if you don't mind, daughter, so you can get her in the front picture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you could take it. And then y'all can come up to right here. <laughs> okay. Glory to God. Step back a little bit. Let Brother Leon get on that side. Hallelujah. Smile. <laughs> and now if you could y'all can come behind us, pull it out a little bit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's good. She could take your picture. What about that? Okay. You could go on the other side. The two boys, y'all go on that side. Everything looks so nice, isn't it? Everything looks so nice. <laughs> Would you like to say something before I bring the word? I got my cash app card. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And whatever the Lord lays on your heart, you could be a blessing. Well, thank y'all, man. I get really speechless. <laughs> like, really you speechless. can come up here. <laughs> <laughs> I get really speechless um, when I'm surprised. And so I really am speechless. <laughs> thank you, Apostle, for organizing me. Thank you, board members. Thank you, ELCC members. Thank you, executive team. I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the wonderful words, the poem. Like, okay, Dr. West, it was like, okay. Then I was like, Ariel, oh, did he be shy? Oh, Lord. And then my husband, then I was like, Lord, I'm trying to make me cry. I did shed a few tears. But they were happy tears and tears of appreciation. I really love y'all. I really, really do. Y'all are really my family. And I'm glad I'm your family too. And I'm glad to be seen and honored for doing the Lord's work because I am very passionate about it. So thank you, Apostle, for the opportunity Ma to serve the Lord and serve ELCC and even serve you in so many different ways. I am going to work on my time management. But I've gotten a lot better, y'all. <laughs> I just still have some growing to do. We all growing in many different ways. Hallelujah. I feel so undeserving, but I know my works are speaking for me. And I'm so grateful to do the work of the Lord. And thank you all so much in advance for your gifts of love and my flowers. I really like orange and I really like blue. So thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. And I will individually thank each and every one of you who contributed and who continue to contribute to me. I love y'all so much. I love you, Apostle. I love you, daughter. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. We'll give you a chance. Um, you know, once we finish the word, 
then you could go ahead and fill out everything. And our goal, praise the Lord, is uh, at 1230 to make sure all of the monies are in. The direction for the offerings today, Elder, once we, Brother Leon, when the when Elder come up to finish exhort, not exhorting, but um, praying over the prayers in the prayer box and everything and dismissing us doing our regular offering is when you would put your offering envelopes in this box. Sister Brittany, could you um, lift it up and turn it around? And we'll have that open so you can put your cash app cards in there, all of your personal envelopes in there so when the counters go to count they don't have to do separating and she'll already have what you want her to have and they can go ahead and count the tithe and offerings for today amen and we always amen say this that it is better to give than to receive because we know the God of promise and he keeps his promise because he tells us to give and then what he's going to return back to us good measure and it goes on and on and so we know that God is going to bless you indeed Hallelujah. Once again, I want to thank everybody for your giving and thanking everybody who worked with me so beautifully and diligently, even all the way up to this morning, making changes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for our photographer taking a few pictures of everything this morning. And amen. Everybody did so good. And I know you were nervous, but you did a great job. Amen. You did a great job. You did a great job. Amen. I know that's not what you do, but you did a great job. And we thank God for you. Dr. West wrote out the welcoming occasion, which was perfect. <laughs> did y'all see our new junior usher in the back this morning? Another Noray. Brother Noel Ray, hallelujah. He did a wonderful job. He couldn't wait to get in my office. He couldn't wait. He, get, he put that bag down and he just looked. And he, Is this your office? This your office, apostle? I said, yes, this is my office. And he said, yes, this is your office. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Noel Ray. He spoke time. He came up to my door at my car. Good morning, Apostle. And you all are raising your children wonderfully. And we know that they are children, but they are doing a great job. Amen. Keep bringing your children to church. I do honor the Lord for his spirit. And I do have a message this morning that we must always keep separate even in the celebration because we come to honor the Lord and give him glory and all the praise in the midst of giving him glory while he is working in elder and each one of us. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the spirit of love. We thank you for the attitude of gratitude and the heart of a servant. We thank you for Elder this morning, and we pray that she will be supernaturally blessed, that the people will even go above and beyond. We know that we ask them to give something, but those those that said, I wanted to give more. God, we thank you for blessing her and blessing her indeed. Simply because she never asked for a raise. She have never asked me to ask the church for a raise. So God bless her indeed in the name of Jesus. Now let your word come forth. Use me one more time and let your word fall on good ground. Produce a hundredfold in Jesus' name. Amen. On this morning, I'd like for you to turn to my foundation scripture coming from Matthew, the 20th chapter. 
Hallelujah. Matthew 20, 26 through 28. And then we will go to Philippians 2, 5 through 13. But on the second scriptures, you could take your seat. The first scriptures, the foundation scripture is Matthew 20, 26 through 28. The words of Jesus. But it shall be not, but it shall not be so among you. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And in other versions, that word minister means servant. 27th verse, and whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. You may take your seat. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I want to say here that I want to give the topic this morning the greatest servant. The disciples from time to time was questioning who was going to be great. Who was going to be great. James and John even in Mark 10 chapter around the 42nd through the 45th verse, Jesus says again, not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. The topic is the greatest servant. Jesus is saying, if you want to be great, you must first serve. Bear with me for these few minutes. To be served is to have other people do things for you. Jesus did not come into the world so that you could do things, we could do things for him. He came into the world to minister to us. Isn't that something that Jesus came to serve us? As we read through the Gospels, we will see that Jesus lived to serve. I want to paint this picture beautifully on this canvas of your mind about a great servant, the greatest servant. Whoever wants to be great among you, Jesus, wise words, was to them to become a servant. Only God himself could have came up with an answer like that. In the world that we live in and in the fallen nature, we love to be served. Not all the time did we understand being a servant especially in the kingdom of God, 
in the house of God. Some people think that the smallest things in the church is beneath them. Some people think picking up paper off of 13.3 acres of land is beneath them. They can become insulted. I'm better than that. I'm more important than picking up paper. But not the men of our church. Brother Theophis Grant. Brother Avery. Brother Donald, Brother Joseph Warren, they faithfully come every week to this property to pick up paper. Somebody say, and it's outside. I want you to see something before you can even become great, you will do the word of becoming a servant because Jesus said it. If you want to become great, in other words, be a better servant. Serve better. Serve more if you want to become great. You cannot find that in the world. The world will never tell us to do the smallest things to become great. The world tells us to become everything you can so that you don't have to serve nobody. Be patient with me. <clears throat> As you came up on the property this morning, you saw some paper. That doesn't mean nobody picked up paper yesterday. Usually, the day after the paper have been picked up, somebody in the neighborhood throws paper. Not all the flying paper come from the dumpsters across there in the apartments. Some are intentionally put down. We've seen it with our own eyes. Let down their windows, open up their hand, and all their lottery tickets fly across the property. We've seen it. We've seen grocery carts from the grocery store cross the highway, down the street, end up on our property in a ditch. And the list goes on and on. The beautiful signs, somebody spray paints them. The mindset of people, <clears throat> ungodly activities and the droppings of it, sometimes is on the property. Sometimes we find bags of people bills spread across the property. That's just one thing. But servants go out in the heat, <clears throat> excuse me, in the cold, and pick up all the paper. Somebody thinks that's beneath them, but not the men, the great men of our church. I'm a little full. I said not the men of our church. They 
faithfully pick up paper. Did somebody say, are they getting paid to pick up paper? Servants are not always paid for what they do. They are the greatest volunteers. Because what we do, we are doing as unto the Lord. And there is a payment that will be given beyond money. Oh, Lord have mercy. Beyond money. The faithful. There are people that volunteer to do things in this church. Don't get paid. They are servants in the house of the Lord. Whoever wants to be great among you, Jesus said, let him become a servant. He said, even if you want to be the chief, Over things become a servant. Jesus came to serve us. Ooh, I'm just painting this picture for these few minutes so you can see better. As we read the Gospels, Teacher Hendricks, we've read over and over his serving spirit. One of, I have two things that really have blessed me about Jesus. Everything about Jesus is great. But as a leader, these two things are not at the back of my mind. They're in my view. One of them is Jesus is about to die and he initiates the new covenant during the last supper with his disciples about to be apostles and he washes their feet. Somebody said, well, I am an apostle. I don't do those things. I am a bishop of the Lord's church. <laughs> I want to say again, that is not at the back of my mind. That is in my view. Did you hear me? Jesus washes dusty, stinky, dirty feet. And when one of them said, no, you can't be doing that now, Jesus. You know that was Peter. He said, then I'm, you're not mine. Because what Jesus wanted to do was paint the picture of serving. Jesus wanted us to see why you are trying to arrive. You are still not great when you get there until you know how to serve. No matter how high God takes us, whatever accolades, degrees, name, he reminds us the greatest among you are those that ministers, helps, serves. Don't ever get to the place that I'm too good to do that. Especially when it's 
as unto the Lord. Never get to the place where I can't clean up. I can't clean toilets. I can't sweep. I can't blow off the porch. And I definitely ain't going out there to pick up no paper. We got a four good men do that. And the rest of the men in this house do so many other things. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because we're about to what? Soft wash the church, redo all of the flowers, and amen. And we'll need the whole men's ministry to do that. Because Brother Delroy, even though he have a landscaping business, he cannot do it by himself. The maintenance, the upkeep, the beautification for people to see the glory of God. And to drive up on something that you are paying for. To see the beauty of it. Serving. The praise team doesn't get checks every Sunday. Ask them. But they singing like somebody got a 401k on them. <laughs> Somebody said, Nay, that's beautiful. Ooh, Holy Ghost, I say. The dance ministry and all the rehearsals and the usher ministry and glory to God and amen. Everybody just serving. There is not a check always given. Sometimes we'll give out some monies or Y'all know how we do, just to say thank you. But we can't pay you for everything. Because God's going to pay you for everything. There is a pay that go beyond money. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are healings and deliverances and accidents that we miss. And when, when our mind wanted to go crazy, he kept it over just serving. Somebody don't believe that. That's why he said, do it all as unto the Lord, you see. Because he is going to pay what's right. So when it's time to serve, we can't act like we got amnesia. When it's time to serve, we got to give it our best shot because we serve the Lord. And you can always tell who has a servant heart on the way they serve. You can always tell a servant what Pure motives because they remember when they post to serve. Oh, somebody said, now, Pastor, now, you're walking a little heavy now. Jesus said, whoever want to be great among you, become a servant. James and John, they had a question and a concern and their mother even had a question and concern. Now, when you get into this place, amen, it's heavenly place. I want both my sons to sit next to you. One on the right hand and one on the left. Jesus, you don't even know what you're asking. Can you drink from the cup that I have drunk from? Somebody want to get somewhere without serving. Somebody want a paycheck every time they do something for God. Somebody got, are you listening to me, Zion? For every song you sing, somebody got to give you a paycheck. 
For every word you give, somebody got to give you a check. And you know, if somebody was being paid, oh, you wouldn't have to remind them for nothing. If somebody was being paid, hallelujah, you wouldn't have to tell them, did you put that on your, cal on your calendar that you down to serve? Somebody said, just come on through. I'm coming through. Because one thing about it, God sees us. Some people have joined thousand membership churches because they simply don't want to serve. Great God in the morning. I don't want you in my life and asking me to pick up nothing, to do nothing, to go nowhere, to get nothing. Some people just want to come to church to get something from themselves and not really give God all the glory. Somebody have to ask the Levitical priesthood. Somebody have to go back and read the book again. These were people of the keepers of the things of God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, and God provided for them, but their children, 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 through generations and generations say, we always got to keep all in the lamp. We always got to keep the building clean. We are We always got to sweep. We always got to rake. But, but you are the keepers of the things of God. We always got to sing in the choir. We always got to. They're, they're, all of their generations were servants. Oh, Holy Ghost, I say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Sometimes people do not understand kingdom and do not understand and recognize who over the kingdom. Sometimes people don't even understand, well, what can I do? Can I, can I get something? Can I serve somewhere? Ooh, glory to God. Of course, I don't want the women out there in the field picking up no paper out there, but don't never ride by men and see something out there and don't get it. Ooh, Holy Ghost. Or see something near your seat and don't pick it up. Why? Because I'm too good for that. Did you give the topic? I believe I did. The greatest servant. I didn't have to run these ladies down to do anything. I didn't pay them their gas money to go buy stuff to get anything. Because this is our ELCC family. And it is an honor to be over such a great people who comprehend serving on any capacity. Not just wanting to preach. Not just wanting to teach. Like Sister Elisa would say, I, ain't, I was one. Now, I ain't never asked you to do this. And you right. I repent. You ain't never wanted to get up here to teach up. No, you did not. I was wrong for that. I said, okay, now you can stop being nervous. Been here a long time. Everybody wants to do something. She said, but that wasn't me. <laughs> I said, oh, forgive me, girl. That sure wasn't you. In other words, I'm going to take these pictures. I ain't never got to get up on this roster. Just give me my camera and let me take these pictures. Let me be part of the steward ministry and wherever else I can serve on the executive team. Isn't it beautiful? 
Some people didn't even know nothing about serving until they came to this church to God be the glory. Why? Because in some churches, people wasn't being meticulous and particular about how everything was supposed to be kept. Or they paid out somebody to come and half clean your church that God used your money to help build glory to God. Why should you get a somebody who not saved to come and clean the Lord holy house? Glory to God. I don't mean no, I don't mean to act funny, but why would you get unsanctified people to come clean a sanctified house? Why would you get people to come in and steal all the toilet tissue, all of the paper napkins, all of the pine saw, all of the Clorox? Because see, people will take on that like, amen, they do to office work where people had to fire them and say, get rid of that person because they're stealing all our products. Y'all clean up after church and all. Well, who else going to do it? Who else going to keep the house clean? In June, we'll be here for 11 years. The church is spotless. Come on here. Sister Tijuana Grant, and the, we give her a love offering during the pandemic, but next year that will stop because we didn't want everybody in here. We'll give her a love offering, and then the, the steward, I mean, the supervisors come in, glory to God. Are you listening to me, church? You can always tell who love what they do because it's in, you can see it. can't remind people all the time what they say they want to do. Let me say it again. You can't be reminding people all the time what they say they want to do. I, tell me this, daughter. Do I ever, have I ever had to call you from the time you've been on the praise team to remind you that y'all, you know y'all got, should be having rehearsal. Now, is y'all singing Sunday? Um, now, come on, I got my part. Have I, have I ever had to do that? Why? Because you know your part. And somebody should have had clap on that because, hallelujah, we don't have to run the praise team down. He shot. He called Rebo Shatala Bahaya. Glory to God. And then when the church fire volunteers, Lord. Now, let me, let me just, let me come on back in. Lord have mercy. When the church got the fire of volunteer, Minister Morning looking like, what you mean, what you mean, what you mean, what you mean? <laughs> you volunteer to do something. And we got to tell you, you don't have to do it no more, baby. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. You know the rest. Because we'll have to chase you. We got to run behind you. We got to remind you. You halfway do it. You forget. You, come on here, somebody. This is no joke because my body is depending on uh, that I keep my word to the living God. My blood need to keep regulated based on I know I'm serving. Oh, Shama. Somebody say you're going a little deep here now because God can pay you what no money can do Amen. somebody playing somebody playing you have it I tell you somebody playing they thought Jesus was just there to promote them I'm going to make y'all apostles. I'm going to make y'all be somebody great. But don't ask 
me where I need to place you. Because you might can't handle it. There's a cup that you can't drink from. Somebody say, I could do that. I could do that. But it's a behind the scene that you know nothing about. You can see all of the things put together, but there is a, some sleepless nights. There is some, come on here, glory to God. I said, come on here, elder. I said, tell everybody when we go on vacation, hallelujah. Don't be calling you. Don't be texting you. We're going to put some board members over some things. If the fire department need to come, uh, whatever, God forbid. But we will not be able to do it. Why? Because when they, when they call, guess who here? Me, my son, and my daughter. What time? Three o'clock in the morning. Because some dust flew off the ductwork, and it set off the alarm. <laughs> and we asked to stay here till they get it back on track. Somebody say, "I just want to preach." It's more to preaching. It's more to leading. It's more than a microphone. It's more than looking cute. It's more than looking handsome. It's more than robes. It's more than, come on here, clergy attire. Glory to God. Because when hell hits your house and you decide that you don't want to serve that day because you emotionally disturbed, you are not fit for the kingdom. And I serve under divers stuff. Sir, been up all night and just left the emergency room. And come over here, somebody. Husband sick and husband dying. But I serve the Lord. And the one who called me is able to Keep me. Some people ain't ready. They thinking they know. Ain't that something? The audacity. Let me sit on the right side and let my brother sit on the left side. Let my son sit on the right side and let my other son sit on. You don't even know what you're asking. See, Jesus don't talk about preaching and teaching here. Some people think ministry is preaching and teaching. First of all, ministry is helping. Helping wherever we need help at. Whatever your hand find to do. You don't even know what God allow, God allows to see where's your servant heart. Will you still serve me? Oh, can I talk about it for just a few minutes, church, because we're going to get to the greatest servant. See, my message is in line with what the Lord is showing us through a servant. And I'm here to tell you. Three times it was knocked off out of the meeting. Um, Apostle, we would like to vote now that elder have um, a celebration. I said, the Lord says it's not time. <laughs> I'm going to let you see law there in a minute. That's your daughter. That don't have nothing to do with what the Lord say. The Lord said, not time. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. We would like to give Elder a raise. At that. I said, it, it's not time. Y'all know I ain't intimidated by my own daughter. Y'all know I, don't, I want her to be blessed. 
Y'all know, glory to God, with her college, amen, amen, her bachelor's and all that, glory to God, this church sure don't pay her what many of y'all make. Hallelujah. But one thing about it, see, the Lord going to pay. See, my responsibility is part of raising her from a baby to a, into womanhood. Then when she gets saved and she becomes leader in the Lord's church, another responsibility for me is to make sure she's not ministering for filthy lucre. She is not ministering for greed. She is not ministering for money because some have rose, rose up only for money. Some leaders have allowed new pastors the first year of them becoming a pastor to have an anniversary. The people don't see how you serve yet. The people don't know how you've come through yet. The people didn't see all your label yet. The people can't give to just a title. They got to give to the work of serving. Holy Ghost, I say. So if anybody in this ministry try to mess up and try not to give and play crazy that, that, that she wasn't worthy of it, glory to God, you will be subtracted from instead of adding. Somebody say, you putting a curse? No, hallelujah. If you are worthy of the labor, you're supposed to give, hallelujah. Somebody said, that's all the board wanted to give, to say we're going to give. Yes, that's what we said. I told, told the team, if anybody said, well, I want to give more. I said, you don't say yes. You say you do whatever the spirit of God tell you to do. Why? Because I want to teach her how to stay focused on the things of God. I want to teach her there will come a time that God will bless you beyond measure for everything, honey. Glory to God. You just keep on giving. You just keep on serving. You just keep on loving. You just keep on spending time, amen, putting things together. See, keep on, glory to God, hallelujah, trying to answer of the same people question over and over. Y'all pray for me. Glory to God. Keep on because God. <laughs> oh yeah, it was revelatory. Whoever said it first, we see you. <laughs> that was a revelation. That was a revelation. Oh, yeah. And until you work with them, until you be in the midst, until you glory to God, until you post contribution, you find out, oh, this is not as quick as I thought I could just go, da -da 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 and I'm done. No, I'm down here almost two hours trying to get all this stuff right. Why? Because the auditor's coming after me, and they're going to audit. Come on here. Somebody just want to talk about soul saving, but there is a business in the ministry. There is work in the ministry, and people don't understand it. They just want to come and get that Holy Ghost power, and they don't want to you read your Bible. It is not only five-fold ministry gifts. It is the ministry of the administration of help ministry Lord have mercy oh I feel this anointing it's, and somebody might say they always call them because I can always call them <laughs> Jesus have mercy hey, Lord Jesus have mercy they always call them they look like they, I can't do nothing uh, obedience Dr. West, I need you to get this to me by tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Daughter Sadidra, write this prayer out for me. I need it tonight. <laughs> Somebody called me to do something, so I need your help because I, I tell you, my brain's tired. I done got this to do that. Yes, ma'am. Come on here. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Somebody said you call who you can call. 
and you call who gonna what? Do what you say. See, glory to God. You glory to God. You're right. Trust is not given, it is earned. People are raised up in ministry, not just because it was given. Glory to God. God got to see you in the small things. Did you do that what I asked your leader asked you to do? Did you do that? Glory to God. So God can trust you with the weight of the anointing. If you ever start feeling that the weight is lifting and check your obedience scale. Husha, huh. glory to God. And I mean on everything from the job to the church to the marriage to the church. Check the whole scale, not just the church scale. The greatest servant. Let's turn to Philippians as I close. Any ordination, I say, any licensing, I say, I have only used these scriptures from my husband becoming a deacon, an elder, the first ministers. The second set of ministers, elder givings, because these are the greatest scriptures to becoming a minister. Sometimes we want to get somewhere quick, fast, in a hurry, and we're not dependable servers. Hallelujah. I want you to do a study, those who want to. Do a study on the Levitical priesthood. When their family died out, the next family from them had to take on the house of God. What an honor. What an honor that God trusts all of his things to this tribe of people. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Y'all already know somebody was talking out the side of their neck. Y'all already know somebody said, I'm so sick and tired of cleaning all these things in this house of God. And I got somewhere to go. I ain't got time for this. Somebody said, you preach it, I'm going to preach it. I said, I'm going to teach it and I'm going to preach it. Glory to God. Some things is for our protection that we don't even understand or comprehend. Hallelujah. We part of this priesthood. Glory. Hallelujah. Some people you almost got to beg to serve in the house of God. Are you listening to me, people? But no more. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me, temple leaders? Are you listening to me, elder? No more. Thus saith the Lord. We're not begging people. I call to do nothing for him. I call. He shot. Because sooner or later, they got to cry out to him. Great God in the morning. I tell you. To the God who said, I just wanted you to pick up paper. I just wanted you to sing. I just wanted you to sweep. I just wanted you to serve. Sooner or later, we got to cry out to him. Ooh, I'm telling you, I didn't know this message was going to end up having a weight of anointing on it. Y'all saw, y'all saw, and y'all heard how I start off, amen, slow. Y'all got to do all that over there. Oh, she got y'all in slavery. She got y'all in bondage. Y'all got to do that, and y'all got to do this, and y'all got to do that, and y'all. 
I'm going to say again, why should we hire unsanctified people to clean the Lord's house and thieves? We got enough to monitor the so-called save over the cleaning stuff. Let me drink some of this in water. Well, we all the toilet tissue wear. We all the paper towel. We all the, the soap. I'm scared. Anybody scared? I'm scared. I'll be scared. Holy Ghost, Philippians 2, starting at the fifth verse. Lord, every time I read this, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Ooh. Let this man be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Now, y'all, we get into the, the greatest servant. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But made himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a what? Of a what? Of a servant. Somebody want to be great. Are you listening to me? Somebody want to be so great. You know what on the side of my paper I wrote in 2003? No, 2005. Yes, five. How did you get above Jesus? How many armor bearers you need? Why? Because I want to be served. I don't want to serve. I want to be served. All you got to do is observe. That's all you got to do. Just observe. You want to be served. How many, how many people you need to carry a piece of paper for you? Four. I want to be served. See, it is my responsibility for every uprising minister to first to follow Christ, to be the example for you, to don't run out of y'all presence to hide from people. There's something wrong with that. They're so anointed and that the people cannot touch them because um, spirits could try to get in them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. They open. Yeah, that's what they say. Thank you. I heard somebody say it. They open. Open for what, baby? If there is a glory carrier... They got the real Holy Ghost. They got the Azusia. They got the presence of God. Now, the truth of the matter is this. Are you listening to me, traditional people? Who believe that lie? <clears throat> that they done ran away from the people because they didn't want the people to touch them because they're not a people person. <laughs> they ain't in it for the people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So don't run away from the people. Y'all ever seen when Jesus, whenever Jesus ran away from the people, let's say it together. He, say it with me. He was tired. <laughs> he wasn't running away from the people because something going to get in him. He was just tired. But that don't happen all the time. Read, read the Bible. They, they open. 
They can't tell. No, if I'm tired, it will be wrong for somebody to squeeze me to death. <laughs> They're going to make me release. <laughs> but come on here. Glory to God. They go, I've seen people almost overhug the person who was preaching. They tired. You can't make it flow if it ain't supposed to go to you. You can't make it flow to you if it's not supposed to go to you. You can't make it flow. Because just a light touch, if it was meant to flow to you, why? Because we don't control the power. Are you with me? You with me? Let this man be in you which was <clears throat> also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of what men. And being found in fashion as a man, what else he did? Y'all, I'm going to tell you now. Let me, let, me, let me help somebody. Let me help all the people who mesmerize. You know, mesmerize is a spell. People who's got a spell, oh, if I could just get to them. <laughs> they mesmerized by the prophets. They mesmerized by somebody who can tell them something to hurt and solve their problem overnight. Just tell me something, help me get out of this right now. Tell me how great I'm going to be, but I'm not going to work on myself. Just tell me. Just tell me. You're going to be able to tell whether, I want you to listen carefully before I close. I want you to listen to me now. The greatest servant. The greatest servant became a man. He's going to come down through all these generations. And I'm going to put on skin. Ooh, Holy Ghost. And then I'm going to look like y'all so I can feel what you feel. I can identify. I'm touched by your infirmities, even though I'm going to turn around and save you. He said, I'm just going to keep stepping down to get you. I'm going to keep stepping down to get you. But what happened when people want to be great, guess what they do? How you can tell when these are God's true servants? Check it out. Check it out. They are humble. Even though they bold, but you will see them not afraid to be around people. To touch people, not all haughty, not when they walk in the room like everybody bow. You're going to be able to identify with it because let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. If God really called us, we should take on his waves, ain't it? When you start seeing people start puffing up, know for sure it is not the spirit of God. It is not the spirit of Christ. Sometimes, daughter, God will promote, give you a promotion to test your mind. Lord, have mercy, 
God. Sometimes God will send something to you to see how do you respond before another elevation. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Sometimes God will allow you to get a car or a job or something just to see how you take on the spirit of that thing. You will get it when you get home, I say. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go in, hallelujah, above and beyond. Somebody look at Jesus and say, how can he go beyond when he kept on being humble? When he kept on lowering himself. When he entered the city, he ain't had to sound a trumpet. He ain't had to tell everybody how. Look at him, because when I went to the library, and, so, and I said, I didn't see a book. And I said, book appeared. And, 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 and then the book appeared, and I told the lady, go back and look for the book. And the book was found on the shelf. Amen. And then I, I was looking for a time. And then I say, woof. Then about, come on here, I say. All you got to do is listen, pay attention, because once you see pride, are you listening to me, son, back there? Once you see pride, you no longer see Jesus. Let me say it again. Once you see pride, you don't see Jesus. Once you see pride, you don't see Jesus. Once you see self-exaltation, you don't see Jesus. Once you see that they, they need all the attention, they are no longer servants. Are you listening to me? See, are you ready for what God want to give you? Some people God wants to give them, but they can't even serve a little thing good. He already told you don't despise small beginnings. Oh, I'm too good, clean toilet. You sit on it, ain't it? Hecko! You stand by it, don't you? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all the second thing that I'm impressed with Jesus and blessed by Jesus. While the disciples was fishing, he knew they were going to be come back hungry. So he went ahead on and cooked. Let me leave y'all alone. Let me leave y'all alone. He done prepared a meal for them. Somebody said, I ain't never had a pastor who go in the kitchen and cook. You ain't, I ain't doing it to impress. I'm following a pattern. Jesus cooked for his disciples. Somebody want to read somebody else's manual. Read this manual and you'll find out the greatest servant. Did you hear what I say about the first sign? Once you see pride, when the law elevate on any level, you can say, okay, here we go. I go, they both shot. Say, I see why it took God all that long time to do that. But them, look how they acting. And don't let nobody, don't let no family member, don't let no church member, don't let no um, um, job member, don't let nobody, when God start blessing you, make you step out into pride. Do you hear me? Don't let nobody make you get stuff that you don't need. I'm talking right. Don't let nobody, I don't care who they are, because some things is not time. Did y'all hear what I said? When you got ordained, 
you. 19. <laughs> 20. Time. We'll consider a raise when December, when we get ready to do the budget. Time. Because the spirit, that, that spirit, that money spirit, it's a spirit come with it, church. There's a spirit come with it. You see the prophets, you see the false prophets, and some of the true prophets with that Baal spirit, you're going to pay me for a word. What kind of craziness is that? I say, what kind of craziness is that? Now, you can sow a seed, but you don't pay nobody for no word. What if you don't lose your mind? Y'all ever seen Jesus say, you're going to pay me for that healing? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak over you for you to see. Now, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to spit on you and I'm going to put some mud on your eyes and everything for you to see. Now, where is my $100? Stop being so fascinated over something that you don't need to be fascinated. And then when the real anointing come that corrects and protects, we don't want that one. We don't want that anointing. Uh-uh. Because we want to be half done. We want to look like we done. We want to be jello on the inside, but look like cake on the outside. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm telling you, daughter, if you stick with me in God, you will be able to last. You will be able to stay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You won't end up looking at money and amen and amen and, and um and um what that other word is. Um people who like to tell you things good. Start with an F. I can't remember what it is. Hmm? No. Flattery. Be careful with flattery. He shy, the bow shy. Be careful with flattery. Oh, yes. God is using you to God. Be the glory. You don't have to. And watch people who say this too much. Oh, it ain't me. It's God. Well, we know that. <laughs> we know that. You armor yourself and say, well, I give God the glory. Oh, don't thank me, man. Well, we were just acknowledging that God was in you. But when you say it like that, we know something down in there. Are you listening? The greatest servant. All you have to do is humble yourself. I, I give God the glory. I tell the Lord, thank you. I give God praise. Thank you for the compliment. But it, yes, we know it's God. Hallelujah. Be Shabbat. Read, read, Elder. Still Philippians. Yes, the eighth verse. Let me finish this on up here and, and, and be done. Second, I mean Philippians, the second chapter, the eighth verse. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Lord have mercy. Did y'all hear that? He lowered himself to death. <laughs> Go ahead. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name. Somebody say in time. In time. Don't, don't try to move faster than the time God got for you. Because when God, let me tell you something, this is true, and many of you know it. When God want to bless you, ain't no devil in hell can stop it. When God want to promote you, ain't no devil in hell can stop it. When God favor you, he'll shut him out. When you don't have to bow God your way to be seen. If, amen, if a person elevates you, they can't keep you up. But if God elevates you, he can keep you up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
Hallelujah. Say when God elevates you, God can keep you up. If um, somebody elevates you, they can't keep you up. They can't keep you. They can't sustain you. See? See? That's what I'm trying to show you. How to stay low so God can keep you up. Hallelujah. Keep on giving. Keep on blessing others. Keep on helping. Keep on being excited. You know why people call us? Because they know we're going to truly be excited. There are a few people in here that are really excited for you. But don't be discouraged if somebody ain't. Why? When God elevates you. When God elevates you. Just stay humble. You don't have to walk in the door like, look what God did. Uh-uh. Give me the broom. Give me glory to God. And Sister Lane took the broom from me at 614. She took the broom. Was she being sarcastically funny? No. No, she wasn't. Did she do it like she had more power? No. She said, Pastor... We got this. We got this now. We, we got this. Somebody had to come and tell me when to stop doing it. Just here, you want me to clean your child? I clean my office, girl. I got it. There is an anointing when you can humble yourself. Because I deserve this. I deserve to make this. I deserve that. And then what happened is then you get discouraged. Because what? God trying to keep us humble without humbling us. So sometimes, sometimes people have to be humiliated to recognize God want to get your attention. Because I want to be able to trust you. Holy Ghost, I tell you, I feel something in the Holy Ghost. I tell you, I feel a warning in the Holy Ghost. I ain't never seen people who could buy hair start acting crazy. They was able to buy some $300 hair that they can't afford. Y'all remember Jerry? Carol? I wore him a long time. <laughs> Why? Because it wasn't time. Glory. Somebody buy a $400 pocketbook? You better try to pay your rent. That was your best to pay your rent. <laughs> Possibly you better try to pay that house. No, you know it's coming out. It is coming out. It had no, you know, it coming out. Mm, you better try to go on TJ Maxx and find something look like that motherfucker book. You better go on over there, you Ross, and try to get you a lookalike. You better get what? Ain't nobody you impressing but your own pocketbook. Hallelujah. Am I right about it, man? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go over here to, to, to sisters and get me some diamond earrings. Glory to God. And when they stop sparkling, I'll buy another one. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Sometimes people ain't ready. Read, daughter. Lord have mercy. Verse 9. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every oh. name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Somebody want to get someplace too quick before God can take out insecurity and doubt and all of that. So when God bless you. 
I feel it in my spirit. Don't let nobody make you self-exalted. Holy Ghost, I feel it. Don't let nobody make you step out to do things before time. Nobody. Look at Jesus. Nobody. See, what Jesus did, he stayed focused on his, his assignment. What was his assignment? Earth. That was his mission field. Mm -hmm. How did Jesus prepare himself? Listen to me, son. Listen to me. Listen to me. Jesus prepared himself. We saw him sitting in the synagogue learning the scriptures. Wait a minute. He the word. But remember, he became a man. Ooh. Son, he had to use his mind. He was still what? Spirit, had blood and bones, and had a body. You remember? So you prepare yourself. Hallelujah. Me serving is part of my preparation for wherever God want to take me. Hallelujah. Jesus prepared himself. He prepared himself what? At the age of 12, he prepared himself by getting water baptized and spirit baptism with the dove coming on him. And then what? He prepared himself by going in the wilderness. See, some people that are going out that want to be somebody so great and they ain't even prepared themselves. He presented himself to the people he was to serve. He served people. How you know? He healed the sick. Did he ask for somebody to give him $50? He fed the hungry. Did he ask for somebody that I'm going to take up a love offering that somebody going to steal and take in the back anyway? Ah, nobody ain't ready for me to talk about that money. Ha, ha. Somebody ain't ready for me to tell them about that offering. Glory be to God. Mm. He preached the good news. He identified and selected his followers, amen, the core disciples, the 12. And then inside the 12, he confided in three. Listen to me. I may have many people, amen, that I love, but I only bring in certain people that I could confide in. Jesus did it. Ah, I will do it. Every leader will do it. Not everybody can come in your circle. You understand? It has nothing to do with whether we love somebody, trust somebody. Jesus had a three-person what? Because when they saw his flesh, they wouldn't down him. When they saw him crying, he ain't had no sin, they wouldn't talk about him. What else? So you won't compete. That's why you have to be careful who you bring in your, your circle. You'd be surprised who don't really like you. I don't have to explain that. Hallelujah. Jesus did it. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. Jesus did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He was in preparing himself. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, them 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever minutes, they went right out the window with this apostolic anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greatest servant. Hallelujah. And guess what he did, y'all? And then he, guess what he did? He didn't take all what he knew and didn't pour into the people. He trained those disciples. He trained those apostles. Hallelujah. Somebody said, what school they went to? What degree they got? Hallelujah. They went to Jesus University. Hallelujah. They learned prayer from the prayer himself. They learned intercession from the intercessor himself. Lord have mercy. They learned humility from who? The one who washed their feet. Ah, oh, my God, my God. He was a sacrifice. Somebody say, I want to be great. Well, start serving. 
I want attention. Be the best server. I want to be promoted. Serve. And guess what? Jesus will see you. We know. I know. Her husband know. Her children know. She had to stop light. Trying to send a message. Somebody. Jesus went above and beyond. And that's who we are following. If you want to be great, be a great server. And when you're used to serving, there's some people just, they love it. <laughs> they love it. They love it. Some days I come, come to this office and Dr. West got me some flowers back there, but she don't know why. She don't know. She just felt the leading of God. She don't know. She don't, she don't know maybe I was feeling bad that day. She don't know. I turn the corner and go, oh. I no longer say they are Dr. West giving me these. Because those roses from last Sunday, they're still alive and well. I look at the roses. I say, ain't no way these roses could be all up like this here. I said, he's anointed. Keep on serving. Keep on serving people. Whether that's putting candy in the candy bags, whether that's cleaning, don't never get too good. Thank you for teaching your daughter because the Lord put on my heart to help me to tidy up my house. Mm -hmm. Not that my house is dirty. <laughs> nope. But I just need. God know who he want to bring closer. Ika! See, why? Because all of a sudden God got me paying attention to her, how she's serving him. All of a sudden, Y'all ain't got it. Y'all ain't. Did you hear me? All of a sudden, I was looking at her. It served so beautifully. Then the Lord put it on my heart. I'm in there just doing stuff, and I see her. You remember your nephew hired him to serve, to clean up my house and clean out? Why? Because he had needed a, a sergeant before he got a real sergeant. <laughs> I said, oh, we don't talk on the phone. I'm paying you $10 an hour. <laughs> we don't talk on the phone. Guess who else I told that to him? My son, my grandson, Demetri. No phone. No, you can hide behind us between the, between the corner of the wall and everything. I know my house. I know my house. I, I see my grandson here in between the wall and the whatever. I come out, Demetri. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing it, Grandma. I'm doing it. <laughs> hey, hey Stephon, ask him. He said, Lord, what's wrong with Apostle? I said, You ain't did that. Do that over. I'm paying you $10 an hour. He's like, Yeah, I know. You done told me that five times. You paid me $10 an hour. <laughs> but what it did, prepared him. Prepared him. Hallelujah. See? Some things which you think killing you is preparing you. I cold. Hey, boy, shot. I prophesied the other night about a school. And guess what? The school in me. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'm going to leave y'all alone. See, somebody just thought about, oh, she's going to build a building over there. See, you ain't caught up. See, you ain't caught up. The school in me. I got mother school. <laughs> I got wife school. <laughs> I got entrepreneurship school. I got leadership school. I got ch ladies and churn school. <laughs> ah, ah, glory to God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got a school. The prophet said, I said, the school, because you, you got so much you got to teach. But I need somebody who ain't going to fight it. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for a couple of the, the men who reached out. Because before they know anything, they're going to be buying a home. They're going to be buying a home. Because I didn't send for them. 
They obeyed Holy Ghost, and Holy Ghost told them to get with me. They're going to be buying a home. And everything I done told one of them to do, he done did it all. He ready to meet the next meeting with me. Hallelujah. Anybody who say they buying a house and you ain't got no checking account, you ain't going to get it. <laughs> you don't get a house for the savings. You get a house for the checking. Someone said, what you talking about? They want two years of your checking account. Why? Because that's where all your transactions flow, should flow from, not from a savings. The banking institution, they're not going to respect you for the savings, a checking account. But somebody, I'm going to do it my way. Go ahead and pay $1,800 for rent. You know what the truth is? The truth is, I want your knowledge, but I don't want you to tell me. That's the truth. I want it, but I don't want you to tell me. <laughs> Somebody say, oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. But I declare and decree and declare this young man who, I mean, doing everything that I'm telling him to do, he's going to be ready when he get 30 for that house. He's going to be ready. Hallelujah. He's going to be ready because he's following everything I'm telling him to do. Do this, do that, pay off that, get this, get this. Come on here, come on here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, don't wait. Don't buy nothing else new. It's going to drop your skull. Don't buy nothing new. Go ahead and finish those off. It's going to drop your skull. <laughs> don't buy nothing new. <laughs> don't buy nothing new right now. There's some things we got to get rid of first. So we'll be what? Ready. Y'all stand to your feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy Ghost, I say. <laughs> you won't lose it if you don't buy it. Hallelujah. I ain't saying nobody can't buy nothing. I'm not saying that. But if God's showing you to pay off things, then don't keep piling debt on it. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. The greatest servant is Jesus. What you look like. What Jesus and you look like. What are you exemplifying like Jesus? Integrity? Holiness? Some people, all they got is clothes. They don't have, they, that's all they got. That's all they got is clothes. <laughs> Y'all ain't heard that. Some people, all they got is clothes. Some people don't have integrity. Some people don't have, come on here, all they got is clothes. So all my attention that I need from somebody to recognize me is how, how my clothes look, how my jewelry look, how my, come on here. How, how, but some people got integrity. Some people got stuff and got a money in their account. And people, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Lord have mercy, Holy Ghost. Some people only thing they got is clothes. Somebody said, now nah, you done went off. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. What you want? What you want to get? What you want to have? Hallelujah. According to what you want, there's some things you'll have to stop. And then when God bless you, Stay humble. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those that have an ear to hear. Thank you, Lord God. <laughs> you with your sandals and maybe two changing clothes. 
but you was a servant and you was the greatest. You was more into your purpose than things of this world. Help us, God. Help us to exemplify you. Help us not to take on a proud spirit which is not of you. Help us to humble ourselves under your mighty hand so that you may exalt us in due time and help us not to think more higher of ourselves than we ought to. Help us not to make bad moves, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us eyes to see, ears to hear. Help us to obey you, Holy Ghost, and help us not to fight the prophet. The true words that's coming from you that didn't have to be bought or sold. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing in these, your people. Thank you for this serving heart. Thank you for these great men and women of Everlasting Life Christian Church. Thank you for our visitor coming in. Thank you, Lord God, for the spirit of servitude. Thank you for heart, God, that don't mind serving without the money. Because we know the money coming when we seek you first. Your kingdom, all your righteousness, everything going to be added to us in due season. So we thank you for it. Bless these, your people, ones that hear alive, listening, in Jesus' name. Amen. The greatest servant is Jesus himself. Try Jesus. Try acting like Jesus. Try being humble like Jesus. Humble yourself. It'll look more like Jesus. Have a great day. Thank you for watching our Sunday morning worship service. Please like and share today's service with your family and friends. Remember to visit our website and give your offering as well as for more information on salvation and our church. Have a blessed day.